Welcome back to Tesla Plaid Channel. We're just pulling into Bradenton Motorsports here tonight for their street heat. And tonight they've got a EV shootout with a thousand dollars in prize money. We could see some serious competition like the Lucid Sapphire that we raced a few times out here. We're still on the original Pirellis that this car came with three years ago. Our Nitto drag radials have not arrived yet, but even if they had, it would not be a good idea to show up to an event like this with a new set of tires that we'd never tested out before. We certainly didn't want to wind up losing it because we had a new set of tires that we'd never been down the track with before. The chance of rain out here tonight would have put us in a perilous position if we're driving home on drag radials. So the original set of Pirelli is three years old as of last month. They're going to have to do the job for us tonight. So let's uh, let's see who else is here. All right, for the EV shootout, your car doesn't have to be blue, but it helps. This uh, Sapphire is a dark blue. And we've got a Plaid Model X here. Of course, a Cybertruck can get in any color you want, as long as it's stainless steel, of course. Color it yourself with a wrap. We've got a Lucid Sapphire, which somebody told me that it was trailered here. $1,000 is gonna be handed out as follows. 700 bucks to first place, 300 bucks to second place, and that's it, nothing for third. And the interesting thing here, chip draw is completely random. If the two fastest cars face each other, then then one of the fastest cars will get bumped out right away. So we'll see how that pans out. Well, we had about 20 minutes of downpour, but it stopped and they're trying to dry the track, although it's starting to come down yet again. So it's unclear if we'll be able to run tonight or not. You can see they're doing what they can, trying to make this event happen tonight. All right, track's looking pretty good, but on nights like this with all the puddles around, Water is going to get kind of dragged onto the track. It's also going to fall off of cars, out of the panel gaps and the trunks. We're going to be dealing with uh, some water on this track tonight, but it's looking pretty good at the moment. All right, looks like we got five vehicles. Time for chip draw. Okay. There's five of you, right? So Sorry, we might be here to make a race. Evens, Calvin. Calvin. Right. Right. So I was going to get a buyer. Right. 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 with an iron. Right. 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 Okay. Let's see what you get. Three R. It doesn't matter. You're easy or odd. Okay. I just paid to do that, so I'm only kind of taking it. You're a five? Or you're gonna, uh, you got five. a buy run. What do you got? Alright. Oh, great. Two one. Oh, one and three. You go. Two. Wait. That's two. Yep. One and three. Okay. 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 Alright. Two what and do four. You got? Yeah. I'm in the blue plaid up there. Okay. Right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and you're in the uh, yeah, other blue plaid? I mean, no, I'm in the white. Oh, uh, the white. Oh, wide performance. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, well, maybe I'll see you on the second round. But not on the first round. We have a 67% chance of beating in the final. We have to both win here, but. We're going in Cyber truck is nice and dry. And yep, this is the Cyber Beast. Alright, first round, we got lane choice. We're gonna take the right lane over here. And we're just going up against this Model Y heads up, so we're not going to go through all the rolling through and stuff. All right, two minutes till peak performance ready, and uh, experience shows that's where this car runs its fastest. This track feels actually pretty sticky right now, considering it was just raining an hour ago. All right, we're peak performance ready already. Should be a sportsman tree. Oh, oh tree. We'll take it. We'll take it. Now normally I try to be a little more sportsman-like with, uh, you know, making it competitive, but that was our only test pass right there and I need to get a feel for the track and all the rest of it. So if I threw that pass away, then, uh, you know, we're not going to get another chance if we're lined up with that Lucid in the second round. With a little luck, we'll see the Lucid only in the third round, the finals. That'll guarantee us some money, but it's uh, up to the luck of the draw, chip draw. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was a pretty hard chirp at the beginning of the track. A lot of water all around the parking lot and everything still. So obviously this gets on tires and the tires go on the track. So it's definitely not ideal out here right now. We going straight to second round? Uh, no, we're gonna have to rerun that because uh... The cell in the in your lane, I believe.
done. Oh. So it only worked in his lane. Well, yeah, I ran a 926 and uh, it says he won with a zero. <laughs> yeah, or, or vice versa. Yeah, Some, something fucked up somewhere. Okay. So, yeah, it's basically they're trying to figure it out right now. But yeah. we want to rerun it, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not a good thing. We launched at 91%. We're down to 88 now. If they force us to make another pass, we'll be at 85 and we'll be at 82. Time for the finals. Well, what can you do? How's it going, man? That was fast. <laughs> Hey, stick around after this is all over. If I take any money, I'm giving you your buyback back to you. Really? What? I always do that. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, I don't want to take money from the slower cars. Yeah. I'm not going to give the Lucid his money back because yeah. his is a 890 car. Yeah. I've seen him run 890s. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're racing, but yeah. it shouldn't cost you anything. Yeah, and it should have been a sportsman tree, I thought. I don't know why they threw a pro tree at us. And they normally only run a pro tree if you're coming from that side of the track. Okay. That's how they set it up here. If you come from there, it's pro over here, sportsman. Gotcha. I'm going to ask uh, if that was a mistake or if that was intentional. Hey, do you know if a pro tree is expected for what? This class? Yeah. Because I was expecting a sportsman. Well, were you talking about the first one down? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to rerun that because there was no timing in the left lane. Understood, but yeah. is it going to be a pro or a sportsman? What tree is this? We're about to find out. Okay. <laughs> All right, the Model S Plaid is going to be running the Lucid Air Sapphire. Yo, man, do you know if we're getting a pro or a sportsman? It could be pro tree, I think. Pro tree? Is it supposed to be pro tree? I thought it was supposed to be sportsman. I thought it was supposed to be sportsman also. Sportsman, that last one was a pro tree. Flat is quick, maybe a mid nine, but it's not going to touch the Lucid. Lucid ran a 970. Might have been on the brakes. Cyber Beast is going down in front of us, but we got to go back and jump in our car. All right, they're making us go down again. I'm thinking about saving the battery here, but so we ran a 926 on that first pass. I'd be happy with 926s under these conditions, and I have a feeling that the uh, Lucid Sapphire was sandbagging there a minute ago, so maybe we sandbag here as well. We're gonna get a pro tree. Let's see what happens if we just stab it. test the track on that first pass so we're saving some battery here so taking it easy on that pass only used one percent instead of the usual three percent okay see who we get in the second round determine our strategy based on what vehicle that is so either going to be the cyber truck or the lucid sapphire thank you very much <laughs> you're welcome On that easy pass that we ran an 11.14 at just 93 miles an hour, the Model Y Performance ran a 12.03 at 112.12 miles an hour. He was hoping to dip into the 11s today. We went from 87% up to 88% battery state of charge just from the regen and the track runoff. wonder if they did chip draw already. Let's find out. All right, second round trip. And three gets One and three race each other. Two gets the buyer. Yeah. Gotcha, Petey. Mm -hmm. What do you got over the there? Looks like I got the bike. There you go. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. You got the Rainer box? Ryan in the finals. Thanks, <laughs> Whoever comes back, you will. I wish I had something to do with it, but. All right, so when you come back, it's the finals. Hey, anybody can go red. That's right. Ryan, were you all in on that pass, or did you? Huh? Sand, did you sandbag that a little oh, bit? Fuck yes. Okay, just make sure. I didn't want to embarrass you. Well, I was debating, but it was our only test run of the night, so. Yeah, my reaction time was a point seven, so it wasn't a perfect start on the first one. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> but no, All right. I about eight the whole mile. I laid off. Yeah. And then when I saw him start to catch up, I said, "Oh shit." Yeah. <laughs> it was a plaid. They've asked me to make a buy run here. All right. Considering I'm at eighty-eight percent battery state of charge, I'm going to get out of this one early. All right. Let's see what we can do with the. Uh, 
60 foot and eighth mile time here. Ready for launch. All right, we only need one more good pass. So we found over the last three years that as long as the battery's over 85%, we still get good times. And we're actually at 85% now after that pass. So 85 it'll be. You see, so often we've been out here and found that second, third, fourth run of the night is faster, even with the battery being lower. So we only need one more good fast pass. Hello. Thank you very much. This is a 921 at 150.7. I like 921. Now the only disadvantage of what I'm doing here is a brake temperature. Not ideal to make four passes inside of 20 minutes like this. Normally we wouldn't do it. Now the second pass was a 11 seconds at 93, so that didn't get the brakes very hot. But the first pass at 926 and the third pass at 921, both of those at over 150, those certainly warmed up the brakes, but also warmed up everything else. And we want everything else to be warm because that's why we've sometimes had the third or fourth pass of the night be the fastest pass, even with lower battery state of charge. So 85% now, everything's warm, batteries, motors, everything. Brian, you have a preference? Yeah, what do you want? Well, my camera's on this side, so. So you want the right? Yeah, if I go right, that'd be awesome. Thanks, Brian. Looks like I launched my phone into the back seat on that last run. All right, we're in the money. Question is just whether we get first or second here. All right, we're peak performance ready. 85% battery state of charge. And I'm feeling a good amount of glue out here. Got to find our line. I think we're gonna hook up. Whoops, I'm deep. No, oh, no, deep is all right. Deep is all right, because we're on a pro tree. Well, I don't know how deep we are. There it goes. We didn't red light. Hold them off. I don't have to be close. Close. Maybe I should have taken the uh, front passenger seat out. That would have bought us about a tenth. That thing's almost 100 pounds, but front seat's got airbags in it. So technically, I would not be NHRA legal if I take the front passenger seat out. That's why I've kept it in. Everybody keeps asking me why it's still there. All right, I think we gave them a hell of a run, but not enough. It was close. Nine thirty-nine. You got the win by zero point zero one seconds. Okay, so you might be looking at this nine thirty-nine, going, "Why the car runs so much slower than the previous pass?" But actually, the sixty foot is a tenth of a second slower, not because of traction, but because I was deeper on that light. If I'd have stayed shallow, I'd have been in the one forties on the sixty foot, like the previous pass, and that would have been another nine twenty pass. You can see the mile an hour consistent with the previous pass is one hundred fifty. But that's just showing the importance of the tree, whether you're shallow or deep. I wasn't fully deep to the point of the um, staging light changing, but I was deep enough that you can see it there on the 60 foot. Now the Lucid ran a 902 at 151.1. I expected to have more mile an hour than that, the way it was pulling on us. I like the way you this night. Do the burnout, heat up the tires. Right. And then by the time I get everything settled that's back way. Hey, good race. Did you see the margin on that? Yeah, I know. You oh, traced it pretty good. No, but the margin at the finish line. Yeah. Oh, the finish? Yeah. 0.01. Yep. Huh. Holy shit. Well, I had to go to me. He treated me good. Money? He got, he got me by a good three Money. off the start. Money? Yes. Okie dokie, you got second. I did. But you did a really good job. Very 
Center Packs. And who's our sponsor that I should shout out? Morgan Auto Group. Morgan Auto Group, yes. all right. Thank you, Morgan Auto Group. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. I want to do it again. Okay. We need to do a dial-in, though. Okay. All right, that gives everybody a chance. Yeah. We all take one run. Yeah. And that's our speed. Right. Whoever wins the race, wins the race, as long as they don't go faster than their speed. Okay. That's it. We'll Done. talk about it. Everybody will have a chance. I have to clear it with them. Oh, they'll do it. They don't care. You said yeah. it. It's fair. I, okay. hey, don't mind. I don't mind taking the money. They'll help pay to get back to me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jim. And the next one is October 19th. October 19th. Yes. Right on. Right on. So this is the Model Y performance that we raced in the first round. Actually went down twice against it. Uh, driver's Ray over here. Oh man, you don't have to do that. No, it's, uh, it's more than I spent to get in here. <laughs> well, it should have been 30 bucks, Tanner. Well, it's 30 bucks, but it's 20 to get in the door. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's only 10 to bucks, right? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You got it, man. Absolutely. I appreciate it. That's a nice, nice guy. That's very nice of you. It's, uh, you know, I'm not trying to take advantage of anybody who's new. No, I really appreciate that. I would probably be the same way if I was in your vehicle. Yeah. You guys, your two cars, honestly. Like that first pull that we did that didn't really yeah. register, like, because I can feel what I'm going through in my car, yeah. And then to realize <laughs> that you're literally a football link like, ahead of me is just like, cars, yeah. yeah, I'm just like, cars, um, right? Uh, wow, that's impressive. To a low 12, that's, uh, that is exactly a football field. Yeah, right? it was impressive. No, I could, for the distance, I play golf and it looked like about 100 yards. Yeah. <laughs> Which is almost Good fun out here tonight. We made it close and we took home some money even after uh, refunding Ray for his buy-in. So that was the shootout tonight, and we'll see you next time right here on the Tesla Plaid channel. Here's Dave's Hellcat Swap Cuda. You wouldn't know it's got a Hellcat in it just looking at it. You know, when I look at the previous pass that we made, with the 145 60 foot, the 595 eighth mile, and the 921 at 150.7. I kind of wonder if I should have kept that in the tank for the last run, but it doesn't always work that way. All the variables out there. I mean, I staged really shallow. I took my time. You can see I had a seven second reaction time on that previous pass because I just sat there until launch control was perfectly ready. Whereas when I raced the Lucid Sapphire, my staging wasn't perfect. I was deeper than I wanted to be, so I knew that was gonna cost me through the numbers, but that tenth of a second probably was taken out of the reaction time anyway. So yeah, maybe you know all the numbers would have looked better on the ticket, but my reaction time would have been 0.3 or 0.4, and it still would have been the same margin at the finish line. Because if I stage deeper, that means I'm staging closer to the finish line than I normally would, and I'm you know maybe a foot ahead of the uh, Sapphire at the moment we launch. The fastest car won, as expected, so I'm just glad I made it that close. Could I have done things a little better? Maybe, but I'm really happy with that reaction time. And if you look at all the reaction times from all the drivers tonight, that .22 on the Pro Tree, in the final race there that I had, was the best reaction time of the night, so that uh, certainly helped me quite a bit. Not quite enough, though. One one hundredth of a second at the finish line made the difference of three hundred bucks versus seven hundred bucks. But uh, that's the way it worked out tonight. At least I was ready for that Pro Tree, and I didn't even have to pull out my trusty, handy dandy Pro Tree reminder. You know, when you're in a shootout and the tree is coming the same race after race after race, then you don't have to be worried about it nearly as much. But it's when uh, they mix it from one pass to the next. You know, one pass being pro tree with the next sportsman, the next pro tree, and you don't know what's coming. That's when uh, you can't be expected to have a good reaction time. On other nights when we're giving people their buy-in back, usually we wind up just breaking even or coming out negative <laughs> a couple nights. But thanks to the sponsor tonight, the Morgan Automotive Group, $30 buy-in times five cars. That was only $150 in buy-in, and yet the prize money was 1000 thanks to that sponsor. So even taking second place, covered my buy-in. I was able to give Ray his buy-in back. The other two uh, guys out here tonight, the Cybertruck and the Model X Plaid, are both experienced racers. So it's not like they didn't know what they were getting into. But Ray, that was his first time out here. There's no reason that should cost him anything. 
So there's talk about doing the next EV shootout right here in December, three months time from right now. If you're in the Tampa Bay area and want to come out, anytime I take home money and there's noobs in the competition, I'll always give them their buy-in back. Now, of course, if I lose, don't take any money home. Uh, it's not guaranteed, but uh, I like to spread it around because I don't want to take anyone's money. If they're out here for the first time, they should be able to have fun without it costing them anything.